Good afternoon. I hope you are all doing great today. Today we're going to read If Kids Ran the World by Leo and Diane Dillon. And it's awarded two Caldecott medals. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. We know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or the sea. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come visit you and let you play with pets. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. Everyone would laugh a lot more. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. Did you know kids laugh a lot more than adults do? People would spend more time playing and less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. All children would go, would go to good schools where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love school. People could wear any kind of clothes and no one would tease them. Children would all live with people who loved them. More forests would be planted and protected. Hmm, why do you think that is? Why do you think that's important? All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept, kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. I agree with that. I think that's true now sometimes. People would take care of our planet and animals and plants. Nobody would throw trash on the ground or in the ocean or make the air dirty. People would have religious freedoms and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn the happiness of being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow all over the world people would, would feel safe with one another. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn how to forgive. I also think not only is it important to learn how to forgive, but it's also important to learn when you need to apologize, right? If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yes, we think so, because kids know that everyone can learn to share, kids know how to try to do their very best, and kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money, or being king, or queen, or pushing other people around. It's love. Giving it, sharing it, and showing it. And that's why, if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. The end.
I really like this book. I think it went with one of the seesaw activities I just posted for you guys today about kid president and talking about kindness and how we can sprinkle kindness around. I know we're all at home and been with our families for three weeks and not really getting to see a lot of other people and sometimes we can take things out on the people that we love and are closest to the most. So I want you to think about today how you can spread kindness around in your home to your mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, grandpa, auntie, uncle, whoever you live with. And maybe think about how you could show your neighbors without getting too close or going out to see them, how you could show them kindness from your home. Okay, have a great day.